Hi, I hope everybody's doing peachy king. Let me hurry up and get started on my Dollar Tree haul for today, Friday, March 24th. I actually found some new food items at my Dollar Tree. I've seen some other folks haul them, so um, I want to get started with what I've seen. Uh, Tabitha Thrifts actually hauled these. Um, I think she hauled the peanut butter. These are the Keebler Club peanut butter bites, and um, these are now in the Dollar Tree. They are three one ounce packages um, of the club bites so I picked the peanut butter up and I also picked up the cheese and this would be great to put in the little ones lunch for school so moving on to some other food items I found and I'm gonna tell you what I use coupons on which were these I picked up the Jimmy Dean's these are just the heat and serve original sausage links made with pork and turkey and there are six that come in here so just got to heat them up and serve them and then also I picked up a single package of these Jimmy Dean pancakes and sausage um, bites original and these are microwavable so the good thing you all is I got these for free there is a Jimmy Dean's coupon that I got out of the Sunday uh, coupons and the Sunday papers coupons and it's a dollar off any Jimmy Dean's um, breakfast item excluding sandwiches so that's what I use this one on and then the other one was any Jean, Emmy Jimmy Dean's um, sausage I think or any Jimmy Dean's product so you can I know that the Dollar Tree also has the breakfast sandwiches but you can actually use those dollar off coupons on these so I got both of these items for free at the Dollar Tree not bad at all Another food item, which I used the coupon on, I picked up more. This is a repurchase, Barilla Pronto Half Cut Spaghetti. This is supposed to be one pan, no boil, no drain. Um, but I picked up four boxes of these, and there is a coupon that was in the Sunday paper for a dollar off of four Barilla Pasta products. So I got four boxes for $3. Okay, the next food item I have to show you my Dollar Tree had these Danimals. These are the Danimals Strawberry Flavor. It's a four pack of Danimals yogurt. Four packs of yogurt for a dollar. I didn't think was bad at all. I couldn't recall, because I don't purchase these a lot from the grocery store, what, um, how much these would have cost. And I think also when you buy them, it comes two four packs um, from the grocery store. But four for a dollar, I believe, has to be a great price. You all let me know if it's any different. And then the other yogurt item that my Dollar Tree has, and this is how they're selling them, are these Dannon Creamy Yogurts. They're two strawberry and two vanilla. So, and I thought this was a great deal as well. Um, I'm not sure when you buy them single if they're this small, but four pack for a dollar. And let me tell you, there is a date on these yogurts that say May 4th, 2017 for the Dannon. And let's see if I can read the date on these. And this says, what is that? Something 6. What is that? Is that March 6th? Sorry, guys. I left my glasses in the other room. But can you see that? No, May 6th, 2017. I could read it better on the uh, video camera. So both of them don't expire till May. So I'm going to make sure I hurry up with this video and get those in the refrigerator. Okay, so let me jump on to the next items I have. So I picked up both of these Fabulosos because these are limited edition scents. This scent here is um, Jasmine Meadows. And this is, um, they do have a bigger size container in the dollar store of Fabuloso, a scent that's already around. But this is the 16.99, excuse me, fluid ounces. I wanted to try that. And this limited edition tropical spring in the same size. So let me take a quick smell. Nice. Smells tropical. Actually has a little bit of like a lemon and a pineapple. Ooh, I like jasmine meadows. This is nice. It's a nice floral scent. Okay. So the Dollar Tree also had in there this Hello Kitty. It's by Life Ge Life Gear, and it's a safety glow stick. Your po supposed to be able to click this five times to work um, I tried it it didn't turn on so what I planned on anyway doing was throwing this in a like a bag for a birthday gift for a little girl I also have a Hello Kitty in my gift closet a uh, Hello Kitty Chia Pet so that's what that's going to be used for 
I also picked up more of the Dial Soap. Excuse me. And this is a repurchase. Uh, Dollar Tree had these previously before, I think earlier this year. Um, when they were gone, they were gone. But I picked up the Water Blossoms. They had this in there today. I grabbed, I think, the last three they had because I really like this scent. I actually recently just used this. And you all have to excuse the nails I have on my Dollar Tree Sassy and Chic nails. This hand looks horrible because I did a cleaning of the kitchen yesterday. I didn't have on any gloves, and these sassy and chic don't last long when you are using a bunch of cleansers with your hand and the sponge. So, or at least they didn't last long for me. Okay, let me move on. I also picked up uh, three of these Cocoa Butter Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Lip Balms. The boys, like I say, they run through lip balm quickly, whether they're losing it or not. So for a dollar, this is SP15 and it's supposed to be ultra moisturizing. I myself have not even bought from the regular grocery store this Cocoa Butter uh, Formula Palmer's Lip Balm. So I hope it works well. I think it'll be great for them. No bunch of scents and flavors for them. Just good old Cocoa Butter. The Dollar Tree now has I Love again, and they had this I Love Strawberries and Milkshake Nourishing Body Butter. So this would be nice, I think, to put in a little Easter basket for my daughter. I did. I just actually used my first Lysol Click Gel um, in the toilet because I had to first get rid of the scrubbing bubbles that I picked up from the Dollar Tree previously. So this Lysol Click Gel, I purchased another one of. There, it's a small one for a dollar, but you literally just, you're able to stick it on the inside of your toilet toilet bowl up under the rim where the water comes from, and it's supposed to help clean, keep your toilet clean. I did pick up one of these, um, these are reusable bags, and the company name is L.A. Pop. I saw Tabitha, Tabitha's Thrifts haul this as well. Um, and I actually, I don't have this bag, but if you all are familiar with WIT, Women, Infant, and Children, they gave me a bag just like this. Um, it wasn't shaped like a fruit, but it's a reusable bag that once you open it up, and let me show you also the watermelon one I picked up. That one was the shape of a grape. This is water, the watermelon bag, but you just simply open up the bag or open that up and... It turns into a bag you can use. So this is just a regular plain red bag. But it's a reusable shopping bag for you. And this is great. Um, I actually keep my wick one in my purse. And I usually find that when I go somewhere like the Dollar Tree or wherever with that one bag, I need another. So I thought it was a great idea to pick up two today. I'll have those three just in my bag. And when you want to put it back in, you just stuff it back in the pouch. So, But it's a reusable bag. thought it was great. Okay, so let me move on from that. So this is Auto Bright Super Penetrating Lubricant. And um, I thought this was great to have. I found this in the auto section of the Dollar Tree because as it shows you in the picture, it helps remove any rusty bolts. You spray it on that. Um, it says lubricates, squeaks, perfect, all, um, what does this say? All metal. Okay. I can't read anymore. I left my glasses in the other one. But let me move on to the next item I purchased. This is Seal Gear, a dry bag for equipment. And I just thought this was a good gift for my love. I'm not sure how he could use it, but they show how you can put fishing gear in there, um, canoeing, camping. So I think he'll find something that he can use this for. All right, next. I also got from the Dollar Tree some of this New Dial Seasonal Collection, and the flavor is Ice Berries. And this is a 7 point, I think 7, is a 7.5 ounce container. Now they also had the Dial Almond Milk Scent Hand Soap. I didn't get that one because that one is 5.5 ounces. So I just wanted to pick up two of these because it was more for your money. I haven't smelled this one yet, but... It actually has a nice scent to it. And so this must have been for the holiday, for the winter time. Okay, so something else I used coupon on. I did have more food. I was able to use that 50 cents off of Progresso Soups coupon. And this is a repurchase. You've been seeing the Progresso Soups um, being hauled. So I just grabbed a homestyle vegetable beef and a southwestern style corn because I know the kids like those. All right. I was so happy to find these. These are the Whack Impacts. 
whack a pack, excuse me, whack a pack for Easter. And I'm glad that the kids will be able to get these to put in their Easter baskets. Um, but I saw Miss Muffin is my lover's um, and her daughter, uh, Mumsy, show how these work. And you literally, you smack it and they pop into different shapes. So this will be real fun for the boys this Easter. I thought this was a super buy. This Cetaphil purifying facial bar. And that is a three ounce container for your face, all skin types of, you know, so it's a facial soap. Cetaphil, you know, is expensive. If you go to the regular pharmacy or drugstore and try to purchase that. So I picked up a couple bars of these. And I use Cetaphil. I use uh, the normal to oily skin, the pump liquid, but I'm glad to have those. I also picked up some coarse kosher salt. I really like using coarse kosher salt um, when I'm cooking New York strip steaks. So, um, I mean, I, I have, I just recently made some and I use regular fine sea salt, but I, something about me and the coarse kosher salt. And so the last items I did grab from the Dollar Tree were books. And I also picked up two Sunday papers, the Washington Post, so I can get more coupons again. And that's a great buy because the Washington Post by itself is $3.50. So let me go ahead and show you the books I picked up. This is Dr. Cocktail, 50 Spirited Infusions to Stimulate the Mind and Body. And that is by Alex Ott, O-T-T. -T. So it looks like a really fun book to get some different, you know, type of cocktail recipes. That is his picture on the back. I picked up this book called Westmore the Work and that is the other Westmore Westmore the Work my search for a life that matters and um, this book is by Westmore and I don't know if you remember years ago when Oprah still had her show um, not on own but on the regular whatever network um, and he was on there talking about this book so I thought that was a good buy I picked up this kids book Gustav Gloom and the Cryptic Carousel and that is by Adam Troy Castro. And it's illustrated by someone differently. But picked up that book, of course, for my oldest. This one, I think, is also a book for him. Saving Baby Doe by Danette Vigilante. And this looked like an interesting one for me um, to read. Unlocking the Truth with Sharice Jones, three Brooklyn teens on life, friendship, and making the band. So this will be interesting. And it has a little foreword by Questlove. So Questlove from The Roots. And then this I thought was really good because I have thought about and contemplated going vegan only because I really want to get off my high blood pressure medicine. And I've been told by a naturopath um, and a holistic doctor that I would definitely probably have to go vegan. I'd have to go raw first and then vegan. Um, it's, you know, a certain amount of days. But uh, for, I think I'd have to stay on a vegan diet to kind of stay off my blood pressure meds. So I wanted to pick up this book, The Veducation of Robin. How Real Food Saved My Life. And I do believe that's Robin Quivers from the Howard Stern Show. Um, and I do believe she is completely vegan now. I think I heard, had heard that before. Um, so I know this book should have, it says it has 90 delicious plant-based recipes. So some recipes for me to play around with in here, which will be great to try. Um... But that is my Dollar Tree haul, so I hope you all enjoyed it. I um, hope I didn't take up too much of your time, but I appreciate the time you took out of your day to watch this video. So if you enjoyed it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate your feedback, good or not. So um, as I always say, have a great day on purpose. And until next time, you all take care.